Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to distract this NPC character, that NPC guard that we have here, using a rock. So let me equip a rock like this, and let me throw it somewhere over there. Now the guard heard it, and he's going to search what happened there. Meanwhile, we can cross this area safely to wherever we want to go. So this is what we are going to implement today using behavior trees and AI perception system. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Right, so at the moment what happens is this uh, NPC character randomly works walks mm, around his uh, current location uh, but what i want to do is now i'm going to disable random walking for the moment and i'm going to implement how this character would detect uh, some noise when i throw a rock and how does character go there and search all right so for that First, I need to implement noise. So, so first, uh, let me import a sound file, suitable sound file. This one, I'm gonna play this. When the rock hit floor, and this one needs to have some animation as well. I'll keep the default settings that should be okay for now right now where do we implement rock throwing let me open the character here we have throw and we throw interactable object okay let me open the rock blueprint p stone oh, not rock and here is the throw event so do we have on hit event no but when we throw we set collision enabled query and physics right so if i set uh, here the simulation generates hit events and when i enable it through the code manually when i throw uh, hit event should be called when the object hits so here let me play once well i do we really need once let's just play it only once play sound at location let me select this sound clip and no as the location I'll play it in this object location right shall we test that Okay, I get continuous hits because uh, this hit event is called more than once. Mm -hmm. So, we need to prevent that. Let me add a simple variable. Uh, no, let's just add a do once. Uh, 
and then the delay random delay oh wait now let's just add 0.5 second delay and reset it and see oh we are out of all The game was saved last time. Okay, so that means I have to start from the beginning, collect some rocks and go there. Let me delete the save file. Okay, just the stone should be enough. Alright, game saved. Let me equip the stone. Okay. We got the sound now that's just a view uh, this sound doesn't heard is not heard by AI characters so to be heard by their characters what we need to have is uh, a noise for that we can let me add a sequence here because this noise I'm not gonna make it uh, spawn a couple of times because only one time should be enough make noise hmm. oh, do we need an instigator right anyway I'll use the rock location as the noise location And uh, now to check if the AI character hear this, we need to add a hearing co perception component to the AI controller, which I uh, have here. AI control and PC. Let me add AI perception component. I'll name it AI perception hearing since config I'll add one AI hearing config dominant sense hearing under this uh, I make it here all this detection by affiliation I'll make I'll enable new enemies neutrals and friendlies right now here on perception update on target perception update let me use this and the print this is just to check if my AI character here is it uh, just print here keep it for 20 seconds okay here you see here is printed here that means uh, the 
here in perception is working now we need to modify the behavior tree of the character to consider that detail and implement something like search in that noise location okay so first uh, let me remove this and let me go to this behavior tree and here we have pre-ROM and under pre-ROM we have BT task pre-ROM okay so in this blackboard let me add another variable in the type of vector let's call it noise location let me copy the name okay and uh, let me add another selector no yeah another selector mm. and I'll temporarily disconnect this and here I'll add a decorator blackboard mm. noise location is set if the noise location is set whatever the task under this should be executed so I define a new task let me duplicate no. pt task free room Tap and set no wrong it should be a subtask task uh, okay pt task search right now just like this free ROM I'm gonna use this event receive execute AI and cast into the person character in PC so let me just copy this right and then we need to access that uh, noise location so get that board get, uh, get value as vector key name is oh wait noise location so we need the character to go to that location so let's call go to and we can continuously check if character is still going with navigating let's have a branch oh, we should check this after a day let's say one second and after one second still if the character is navigating that means character is still going to that location if true we should continue to wait if false that means character has already gone to that location so we can e yeah we have to clear this value so clear value that we have in the blackboard 
using the same key name as here which is noise location and then we can finish execute Or before finishing execute, we can also try to. Oh, let's test this and see if it works first. So now the character stays in the same location. Let me equip the rock, the stone, and throw it here. The character didn't hear that. Ah, oh, sorry. I didn't still call this. Um, task search right. Now it should work. Okay, he heard it. Now he's going to check. Uh, but it didn't go there all the way. Why is that? Actually, it stops there because it's not a problem, but we have this uh, uh, this acceptance radius as 500. So let me set it to like 200 and see. So it should move much closer to the location where I hear the noise. part is working uh, now let's make the character move back to the initial location after a while when the character is done searching so for that what we can do is in the same task before we clear the value let's make the character well actually we could call another go to with the initial location of the character uh, but that's not necessary anyway let me do that let me collapse this to a macro go to n right Condition is navigating. Location is. Do we have initial location? Yeah. Okay. Now the character will return to initial location. And oh, got an error. Let's check. Stone equipped. Now the character will go there and then return. Well, actually, it would be better if we make the character stay there a bit. 
so we can add a delay let's say three seconds before it ends stay there okay I think that's okay right um oh wait sorry I should put the delay in between this notes because this is the return node and also to implement a practical scenario for this let me do something like this let me put a character in a location like this So now, in order to proceed through this section, we have to distract this character and move it somewhere else. So, what we can do is now, oh wait. Uh, right, so when I play the game, this character automatically turns this side because that's uh, an issue in my animation blueprint which i will address later but anyway we can now try this equip in any storm and uh, we can throw it over there right uh, when the character is distracted we can move this save point a bit and I have deleted the save file to create a better scenario here game saved Okay, here is the NPC character. Let me equip this door. Okay, character is going there. Now we can move here before the character comes back. All right, so that is our simple setup to di distract an NPC character and sneak past that area so yeah you remember I have uh, removed this free roaming part temporarily from the behavior tree but uh, I will uh, reconnect them all together in the next episode I'm gonna also add uh, instead of free roaming I'm gonna add a uh, patrol path as well 
so right i'm gonna stop at this point for today and thanks for watching so as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye